Welcome to the Las Vegas Homes channel. I'm Ryan and this is Peter. You guys clicked on this video because you wanted to see this beautiful home right here with a multi-gen suite. Don't worry, we're gonna show you what that is right now. to the home. So these homes are built by DR Horton. This model is the 2754, which incidentally is the same square footage of the home. So it's 2,700 square foot. As you come in the door to the right hand side, you're gonna have two rooms and a bathroom. So we're coming to this room first. Just your sort of standard sort of secondary size room, nice size bed, some furniture really big windows which a lot of these homes have that bring in a lot of natural light as well which is amazing you got an average size closet there as well but still plenty of space to, you know still very usable as well okay let's check out this bathroom and bedroom right on the opposite side so again we walked on the front door and we made a right like immediately to get into this part of the home this bathroom is set up with a tub on this one and then obviously you got a single vanity you got a medicine cabinet there as well Let's just have a look. A nice soft close there on the cabinet. I always appreciate a soft close cabinet. Very nice. It's it, not a Jack and Jill, but they sort of will sort of share the same, same bathroom. Definitely. This one is set up as a home office, but again, you could have it as a bedroom if you want. Obviously I work from home, my wife works from home, and we have five kids at home. So what I like is the office could be set away from the rest of the house and everyone else is you know, making as much noise as they want and my kids make a lot of noise, a lot of fights in our household so it could be away from everyone else. And then also just being careful of where it's set because sometimes if it's set where the sun is very high in the mornings then you're gonna have it really, really hot when you're trying to work and you're gonna be battling with sun and lighting as well. So that's just a little tip for you when you are thinking about a home office. Especially for me, my home office sits on the side of the house that does have the sun sitting right above it. So my home office is hot during the summer. It really is. And guys, if you are already in Las Vegas or you're relocating to Las Vegas and you're looking to purchase a new home, that information right there on the screen. You can shoot us a text and give us a call, however it is that you're comfortable. You can call us anytime. We got your back when it comes to purchasing any home here in Las Vegas. Now, Ryan mentioned a multi-gen suite in the introduction, so we're gonna walk through into the multi-gen suite. And this is perfect for you guys if you have in-laws or maybe you have an older uh, child like a teenager or one that's probably going through college or something like that and they need their own space check this out so we walk in immediately here nice to the nice little left. area living area here has its own entrance there as well yep so that entrance is off to the left of the home when we first started but yeah this huge space right here if we so spin it's around as well side run if we spin around as well it's even got its own space for a washer dryer, which is amazing. I mean, you're, if your mother-in-law comes to town, they won't actually need to come and be in the main house. Obviously, I'll have a fridge. Fridges are not included. We'll touch on that a little bit later as well. And I mean, even if you like, you know, renting a room out to a friend, colleague, whoever it might be, like this is really basically a one bedroom apartment inside of this home, what they call a multi-gen suite. I'll give you another shot here. That's really, really nice. I just actually had my mom visiting and she ended up staying for over a month and this space would have been perfect. <laughs> and then it obviously has its own bathroom that's set there with a walk-in, single vanity and a medicine cabinet there as well. And then even the bedroom, you know, some casitas can have quite a small bedroom in them. This is still a really nice size when you could couple it in with the living space next door. I think all in all, it's a really good size. I know my mother-in-law would definitely be happy enough in, in this for a while. Absolutely, she definitely would. Um, and then like talk about just having their own space, right? Whoever that might be, if you know they need that section, here it is, man. This is really, really nice. So, 
We didn't talk about the community and things like that where we're at. Stick around to the end of the video because we wanted to get you guys right into the home. We didn't want to be around the bush. We didn't want to wait. We wanted to get you right into the home and that's exactly what we did. Stick around till the end and we will talk more about the community, where we're at, where we're located up in uh, the Aliante area and all those details. Here we go with the laundry room. The washer and dryer is again not included. It does have a free car garage as well. We just can't show that at the moment, but a really good size garage. And then it opens up into this really beautiful, gorgeous, open area. So much natural light. There we go. You've got a nice sort of dining set there, or it could be another table. You've got a nice living space here as well. I mean, I can just imagine my kids having fun with all of this space. So traditionally, right, this would be a wall and this would be your formal dining room and it would be kind of closed off. They, so that's, and that's kind of why you have this support beam right here, right? Now they've completely opened everything up. You know, you can do whatever you want here. If you wanted to turn this into the fun house, this is a great size. You could put a pool table here. There's a lot of space in size right here for this table is, or you could keep it how it is and, you know, more of a formal dining set. Then we'll open up here. We got the living room all the way over to the kitchen, which I know you guys already saw. We'll walk us through there. I think a pool table would be a great shout in that space, actually. Uh, into the kitchen, it's a really good size kitchen. It's got a really good size island. You can see it has four chairs there as well, which are you know not just small bar stools. It's a very usable island. It has this lip so you can use it as a breakfast bar or somewhere to sit and talk while dinner's being cooked as well. And then obviously you have a, a really good sized sink on this side and plenty, plenty of cabinets and drawer space as well, which is amazing. Obviously, the, I touched on the washer dryer not being included, the appliances as well, so the uh, fridge is not included, but more or less everything else that you see in this home is gonna be included, apart from the backsplash. So the kitchen as you see it now is actually gonna be pretty much as it would be if you were to purchase this home, and this home would be priced in the low 600s, around about 603. I always love being a parent, again, of five rowdy children, a soft clothes. I mean, there's no chance my kid's gonna slam that out of anger if I ask him to get his own cutlery. Yeah, for definitely sure. not. And I know a lot of people get concerned with islands, especially islands this big. What is it, a tight space in this kitchen? And it is definitely not. It is a lot of space. This is a huge gap in between. And like I said, this thing, and I, I mean, I love a functional island. I'm a sucker for them. And you can see all the drawers, the washer, like all the cabinetry there. There's definitely not a lack of cabinet space in this kitchen nor countertop space. I'm also one that doesn't like a lot of stuff on the counters. Some people put everything on the counters. I'm not that person. I don't like a ton of stuff on my counters, but regardless, it's not about me. And you can put whatever you want and you actually have your own stuff over your space over here. You know, one could be sort of your, your coffee, your Keurig and those types of things, right? However it is that you want to set it up. What I like is, um, is the separation. So normally at home, my wife does a lot of the cooking and I'm the one who's stuck doing a lot of the prep, a lot of the slicing and peeling. You know, with this sort of setup, I could be over this side doing all of that. My wife is over here. We're not bumping into each other and causing even more issues in our marriage over who was in the wrong. So I like having that separation. It's, uh, it's good to have that sometimes. And I think if you're cooking as a family, I think it'll be really good having that space and utilizing it as well. Absolutely. Come in here, there's another dining table in the back, but again, this wide open, that's the front door over there where we came in. We showed you the two bedrooms there. We showed you the multi-gen suite behind this where the washer and dryer is as well and came this way. And now we've got the grand suite to show you over here. So again, Obviously a nice dining. little dining table here that you could have set up whatever way you wanted it. You could have it as a little nook if you wanted it as well. And then we come into the, into the primary suite, which is a really good size. You can see the size of the bed that it's set up with, you know, a really good size window as well, bringing in a lot of natural light. Certainly we get a lot of sun here in Vegas, 300 days of sunshine. So it's great having windows that utilize that as well. Is it that many? It is that many, yeah. And then we have a, a huge walk-in. You can see here there's plenty of space and you know, you can customize it a little bit as well with the other little bits of space and, you know, definitely plenty of space for a husband and a wife. I still think that with my wife, I'll end up with a little bit on the corner and 
She'll make me thankful for that space as well. Yes, yeah, she, yeah, she definitely will make you thankful for it. <laughs> Here we and go. then we come into the bathroom, you've got a private toilet with the door here. So immediately on the left, let me swing that open, there we go. Now some of you might have different of opinions of what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Um, it's got the walk-in and the tub. Personally with my family that's great because our little one is only two, we can still bathe her in a tub. But then for us we have an actual shower, that's a walk-in shower which is fantastic. you got a double vanity there as well. Again you're going to have soft clothes even in your bathroom, which is amazing. And then the two medicine cabinets there, and it's you know, really well lit as well. There's plenty of lighting in here. Absolutely, there's some can lights right above too. Typically you have like one set of lights above a mirror, and I know at least for my wife, that's not enough to put her makeup on and those types of things. <laughs> um, but there is a lot of light going on in there. We'll take you outside. Typically, the lots here, they say they're gonna run around seven, I'll let Peter talk about that a little bit more, but around 7,000 square feet. If you probably heard that, it said door open. That's the system that also comes with it. We'll talk, touch more on those in just a bit. So yeah, as Ryan said, on average, the, the lot sizes in this community with DR Horton are around 7,000 square feet, which is quite generous compared to a lot of new construction homes. A lot of you are complaining about the size of your yards. If they are going to be a bigger than that, you know, if it's going to be on a corner lot, say, there might be a little bit of a lot premium, but other than that, lot premiums are already factored into your price. So if you're going to have the average 7,000 square foot uh, lot size, then you're going to be fine. You're not going to be paying any extra. Plenty of space to enjoy. It won't be like this. You'll have a chance to have it done and landscaped whatever way you want, whether that's turf, grass, whether you want a pool, whether you want to have a place for the kids to have a trampoline. You know, you'll have that option of, of being able to do it um, whatever way you want to really. You just have to get the approval from the HOA, which we'll touch on HOA a little bit later. But compared to a lot of new builders in town, I think their yards here are quite generous. All right, guys, and it is 100 plus degrees out here in July as we're filming this one for you. Uh, so we're going to head back in and we're going to talk to you. Here's that time where we're going to tell you where we're at, location, proximity, and all those good things to let you know maybe this you know, is the spot for you? Maybe it isn't, but we're gonna dive into that right now. Up in Aliante, so if you're not familiar with where Aliante is, it's in North Las Vegas. Not really central, it's sort of more to the west, but it's not really Northwest Las Vegas. We're about five minutes away from the 215, so that's gonna mean, you know, if you wanna get into the likes of the Strip and you're worried about being stranded or you need to go to the airport to pick up family and friends because everybody's gonna visit you when you're living in Vegas, that's for sure then it's only going to take you probably around 20 to 30 minutes depending on traffic. There's a, a little bit of traffic around now in summer of 2023 as there's a lot of work going on for the Formula One that's going to be coming here in the winter. But other than that, it's not really too far to get back to the main action. And where we're living is surrounded by mountains. And then obviously to get back to the center of Vegas and downtown, only 20 minutes. So I don't know many places that will have that peacefulness and serenity of being near the mountains, but then into the madness and and all the entertainment capital of the world stuff on the strip as well. We're north of Summerlin, so if you want to use Summerlin as a reference, we're sort of north of Summerlin, sort of towards northeast of Summerlin, if we're being accurate. To get to Summerlin and Red Rock, you're going to only probably have about a 15 or so minute drive, so not too far at all. There's lots of good schools up in this area as well, if you are moving as a family, and Aliante has a great casino and a lot of other great things as well, which I think Ryan's gonna to touch on now as well. Yeah, so that's kind of like your reference point. If you're searching for this area on Google Maps or in Google in general, wherever it is, and you're trying to figure out where we're located, it's called Tool Springs, but it's in the Aliante area. So we are literally less than five minutes. I tracked it and I had it on my maps when I got off the exit of 215. And we were five minutes, less than five minutes from the Aliante Hotel and Casino. There's also Aliante Commons. There's an ER over there, there's gas stations, there's a ton of new development and stuff happening in this area. And when he talked about proximity, so a lot of times we wanna find a place that's gonna get us you know, home from work or get to work from home in 30 minutes or less. Maybe you're in the military, I'm prior military, maybe you're going to Nellis, right? And you wanna be close to Nellis, but you still wanna live in a nice area, quiet area, gated communities like that, which these are, Heartland Manor and Heartland Summit are in one gated community. All right, and the way that it's built. But if you're looking at that proximity, maybe you're working on the strip and maybe you work out west, whatever it is, 
This area, again, having that proximity to 215 is gonna get you anywhere pretty quick. And I live in the Northwest. And so I live less than 15 minutes from here. It's actually 12 minutes on the map drive to get here. Got off the 215, really easy, really smooth. I actually love the freeway system here and how it works when you've got basically the strip in the center and then you got the 15 and the 95 that go north and south and then the 215 wraps around. It, you're just 26 by 26. 26 pretty, miles by 26 miles, it's not big at all. You're gonna get anywhere you need to go pretty quickly in a pretty good amount of time unless you hit some weird traffic near the strip. Once you get here and you start learning, like you kind of just stay away from that part of the strip where you got to drive through it and you always kind of try to find a way around. But um, talk to us more about the community, the HOA, and what we have going on here. Yeah, so the HOA here, and I know a lot of you are curious about HOA fees and it's always something that you're thinking about and considering. HOA in this community is going to be around about 115 a month. That's obviously, it's a gated community, so it's going to be, you know, that peacefulness, that security that a lot of you are looking for and also the general upkeep of all the communal areas. So it's gonna be looking a real nice, clean community as well. And obviously just the day-to-day -day management. I always find that the HOAs that are a little bit less and that would be less than average. The average HOA is around about 250 in the Las Vegas Henderson area. I always find the HOAs that are a little bit less don't interfere in your business and tell you what trees you have to have, what plants you have to have, what color your walls on the outdoor should be. And then the next summer they change it again and you have to have a different color. I find the ones that have a higher premium on the HOAs, they, you know, they take pictures and give you citations for the most silliest of things. So, you know, if you're wanting to have a HOA that isn't too expensive and isn't going to interfere in your day-to-day -day life, I think this one could work. But always check out the CCNRs as well and make sure you agree with those as well. Definitely agree with that point there. And again, the HOA, 112, $115 a month is what we were told. Um, not terrible, not too bad when you consider some of, a lot of these other communities, 200, $250 yeah. a month, uh, which is pretty outrageous. These new home communities are keeping that in check for the most part. So there is a lot of features here. There's a lot of great things. Again, new area, new community, things like that going on here in Las Vegas. And again, Aliante is gonna be sort of that reference point for you. Thank you guys again for watching another home tour on the Las Vegas Homes channel. I'm Ryan and this is Peter and we'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.